What's going on, everybody? Back again for a discussion, a question, really kind of, I'm at a loss on this one. I'm at a loss on this topic, and it's a topic that I very, very rarely hear people genuinely talk about in an open and honest way. I know a lot of us a couple of months ago saw that Evan Mathis video of him trimming cards, showing how he trims cards, and then showing how he alters the card so it doesn't look like he trimmed the card. I think we pretty much all agree that when you're removing part of a card, that's out of bounds in card collecting. There was a ton of negative feedback on him for what he was doing in that video. I think we all agree that adding color to a card is out of bounds and not cool when talking about card collecting. But then there's this area between doing those two things and doing nothing. And it's a gray area for a lot of people. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of old school. I'm kind of an old soul that's like, no, no, no. When you're dealing with stuff like this, you don't mess with it. It is what it is. And any sort of altering the condition of a card is not cool. But again, I don't hear people talk about this topic very often. They talk about card trimming not being cool. They talk about color added not being cool. But what about all that other stuff? What about that altering or, as I've heard it put recently, restoring of, of vintage sports cards? Is that not cool? Or is it acceptable and I'm just... An old guy who's cranky, yelling at the neighbor kids to get off his lawn because I'm old and cranky. I want to talk about that topic. I want to look specifically at some very, very specific things that people do to cards and what's acceptable and what's not. Because I'll be honest, if... If there's a little bit of light wax on a card and somebody takes, you know, uh, an old t-shirt and just rubs it lightly to get the wax off, to me, that's, that's fine. That seems okay. That seems acceptable. But then other things that are being done now, they don't seem acceptable to me. Where's the line? So the first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at that Infamous card trimming video, just a small clip of it. And I want to talk about it as he's doing some things and talk about my thoughts on what he's doing and what seems like it's not cool. And then we're going to come back and then we're going to talk about a couple other things that seem to be fairly widely accepted. That I've seen a couple of collectors kind of infer were acceptable that I didn't think were. So first, let's take a look at that video of the card trimming. Let's look here first. All right, so the first thing he did is he took like the back of an X-Acto knife and he kind of pressed down the edge of the card. And this is a pretty heavy metal object to kind of prepare the card to be trimmed under the paper cutter. And you can see the smooth edge there and how it's now set to go. So here he is lining up the card on the paper cutter, putting a little piece of uh, card stock over the card so the the edge isn't too clean, he said. And removing it, and you can literally see the piece of card that's left behind. He shows it off in the video. And then you take a look, and it's a pretty clean edge. 
So then he talks about how you got to kind of rough the edge up a little bit because it's too clean. So he talks about using a ruler and the lines on the ruler and how exactly to use the lines on the ruler to rough up the edge a little bit so it doesn't look like it was trimmed, even though he just trimmed it. So he not only trimmed the card, but then he did things to make it look like he didn't trim the card. It's crazy. All right. So as he took that card to a paper cutter and removed part of the card and then held up that piece of the card that had been cut off, I think we all agree that's not cool. I think we all agree that that's out of bounds. Now, there might be some people that disagree, but to me, the way the card came out of the pack, as the card sat, we shouldn't be cutting part of it off. But again, if there's wax and you take a little bit of a microfiber towel and just kind of rubbly, rub, rub the card lightly and the wax comes off, that doesn't seem like you're doing anything wrong. I've seen a lot of people do that. So let's take a look at some other things that have been happening recently that other people are doing and talk about what's okay and what's not okay. So check out this kit that you can buy to restore your vintage cards. All right, so Kurt's card care kit is got a bunch of stuff in it. It's got this little cleaning solution spray that you can spray on the card. Now, one thing that's supposed to do is help clean the card up. And he has all sorts of demo videos. We'll take a look at a couple here in a second. He has a YouTube channel with lots of views and uses this to not just clean the card up a little bit, but also to help remove some creases. And then there's this other stuff that comes in the kit. And it, it looks it looks almost like a, I don't know, like a lip balm or something. And you use these little applicators to put it on the card and kind of polish the card up. It's supposed to make the card look smoother, help with scratches and stuff. So how do we feel about that? A card care kit that has polish, that has little polish towels, that has a spray where you spray it on to clean the card and wipe the card down with little pads. What do we think of that? Because to me, I'll be honest, it feels not right. It feel it, it kind of makes my stomach turn a little bit. But... I'm also open to the fact that I'm wrong, that, that it's fine. And, and if somebody, if everybody feels like this is fine, I'm, I'm always open to having my mind changed, but it doesn't feel fine to me. It doesn't feel okay. So is it okay? Convince me that it's okay, because right now I'm... I'm on the this is not cool side. I'm not trying to hate on Kurt's card care business, but it doesn't feel right. So here he is working on a T206 common card. And he's showing how to apply the cleaning solution to the card. So he, he put a little puddle of it up above and then he dipped his little towel in it and then he starts kind of patting the the solution onto the card. And, and he's, so he's putting this foreign substance on the card to hopefully clean the card. And I don't know, it looks, it looks a little weird to me. I mean, it looks, it seems strange 
And maybe you guys are like, no, 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 no. This is people have been doing this forever. Well, I'm sure people have been doing a lot of stuff forever. You could see how the card is wet from the solution. Now, he then goes on and he shows how to use the the polish. You kind of put the polish on there, and then you kind of take this other towel and you kind of buff it out. It's like waxing a car to make the card look nicer and shinier. Again, it's a different foreign substance. And I mean, to his credit, on his website, he says, hey, we're against trimming. We're against color added. We're just about, you know, restoring stuff and getting some of the gunk off the card. So he says he's against his other stuff, which I totally believe. So here he is. He's pouring a whole bunch of the solution into like a little saucer. And then he takes the card and he puts the card in the solution and he soaks it in the solution. So he gets the card is completely submerged in this cleaning solution here. And... It, you can see it, it's just it's just sitting there in this solution. I mean, I've never done anything like this to a card, ever. I I had never even considered it. I I I didn't even know this is something that people did until, you know, over the last few months when I started seeing more of this kind of stuff. So he's kind of talking about what it's doing and and how he's gonna leave it in there for like an hour. And then when he comes back. Uh, a lot of the dirt and grime and crap on the card will kind of be pulled out of it from the cleaning solution. So he's just kind of making sure it's sitting in there all good and stuff. So now in a second what's going to happen is he fast forwards it and then it kind of shows what it looks like after an hour or so. And you'll see all of the the dirt and stuff in the cleaning solution after the fact. And all of the stuff that kind of soaked out of the card. And and I don't I, I don't know. I've 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 never ever considered soaking a card in a cleaning solution before. Especially when we're talking about like a T206 card or a vintage pre-war card. like So, again, he's just kind of explaining the process and explaining what he's planning on doing. So here's the fast forward. And look at how that solution is all dirty now. I mean, it definitely got some... And the card is completely submerged. And, and the solution is kind of dirty. So he kind of gets in there to pull the card out. So he pulls the card out. And then part of the kit is you get these kind of pads. And when you put the card into the up against the pad, the pad is supposed to kind of pull the moisture out. So he kind of takes a towel and he kind of just blots it and gets some of that moisture off of it. Because you can see it's completely saturated. And, and then when he moves it here in a second, you can see how much of the solution is just, like, left behind. I mean, the card is, look at all that moisture there. So then what he does is he takes it between a couple of pieces of, like, plastic. And, and then between these, like, kind of plates, like these flat things is like glass and kind of presses it and that's supposed to i think help get some of the moisture out but also help remove some of the wrinkles and stuff i guess he's kind of pressing the card to flatten the card here you can see him pushing right there to try to get all the moisture out and and so the card is is gotten some of the moisture out, and he's, you know, trying to get more of the moisture out. And so he pulls the pieces off after he's kind of pressed it together a little bit, and pulls the card off. It's still, it's still got some moisture on it. So then he gets one of the pads again, and 
he puts the card on the pad because the pad is designed to help pull the moisture out, I guess, according to the video. And he puts on another pad and he gets dry pads so that the pads, you know, can can absorb the moisture. So he puts a couple of the dry pads on. He puts one of those flat plate things on there again, then takes another one. And again, he gets, so there's a couple of pads on each side with the card sandwiched in between. And then he takes a couple of, of like vice clamps to hold it really tight to press the card super flat to hopefully get the moisture out and then also help get the wrinkles out. I mean, this is a pretty elaborate process. Again, this is all off of his YouTube channel. He's got tons and tons of examples of what he calls restoration of cards. And so now he waited like an hour or so, and he removes the clamps, removes the flat pieces, removes the the pads, and the card at this point is now dry. And I'll I'll admit that the card looks way cleaner. I mean, those white borders look way whiter, no doubt about it. They look way whiter. Um, I mean, you could see that there was dirt and stuff that come out came out in the cleaning solution earlier when you saw how dirty that got. So that was a T206. So I'm thinking, yeah, but it's not a, a crazy expensive card. Well, look at this. We got a Jackie Robinson rookie. And he's showing before and after pictures after his restoration from his kit helped with. And I mean, clearly... Those corners and those creases and the color, it, it does look better. But it, it just, I mean, and a card looks better after it's been trimmed. Doesn't mean it's okay. So you got the before and you got the after. It, it definitely looks better after. Just like a trimmed card looks better after. But is it okay? So where do we stand on this? Soaking cards in a cleaner solution. Putting cards and sandwiching them between things to dry them, soak them, get wrinkles out of them. Where, where does everybody stand? I mean, we are the card collecting community. Am, am I the only person who gets squeamish and my stomach turns over this? Or literally, where do we all stand? Is this okay? Are we okay with this? Or are we not okay with this? Again, I'm not trying to attack Kurt's card care. I'm asking the question of what do we, the card collecting community, think about cleaning cards with cleaning solutions, soaking cards with soaking solutions to clean them, using these things to press cards to remove wrinkles, Where do we stand? Because ultimately, if we are okay with it, then we should talk about that. If we're not okay with it, we should say that we're not okay with it. I wanna know what everybody thinks. And I don't wanna sway everyone's opinion because I wanna know how you all feel too. But I'll be honest, I'm not feeling good about this, but I do want to hear what you all think. So please, seriously, let me know what's your vote. Is this okay or is this not okay? Let me know in the comments below.